Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Devanjo. In this video, we are going to be examining this uh, examination question on the solid shape. This question is a question is a question related to solid shape and is a past examination question. This is as a result of a student who need a clarification on the on how to solve this kind of a question related to so, uh, uh, examination question related to a solid shape. So we are told that a solid a solid that is this solid shape is made up of a cylinder of height 20 centimeter and a diameter of a 14 centimeter with a with a cone of a slant height 10 centimeter on the on top as shown in the diagram below we have to find the volume and the total surface area of the solid so you are told that a cone is mounted on top of a cylinder so we are having a cylinder mounted uh, we are having a cone mounted upon a cylinder so before we solve this uh, question i want to show you the the two shape separated uh, when they are separated so this is a cone and uh, we can see that uh, uh, a cone has a circular base so and this is the cylinder and the cylinder, the cylinder also has a circular top and a circular base so when this cone is mounted that is mounted upon this uh, cylinder then you discover that this part this circular base will fit in on top of the um, circular top of the cylinder so that means this this top of the cylinder and this bottom of the cone will not be seen again and that's what led to this shape you are seeing right now so this the circular base of the cone and the to uh, the circular top of the cylinder is would not be seen again because this the bottom of the cone and the top of the cylinder will be uh, will be covered because the the base of the cone and the top of the cylinder they fit in together so that was that's what led to this diagram you are seeing now so but i just want you to understand the nature of this uh, diagram that this is a cone mounted upon a cylinder so the bottom of the cone and the top of the cylinder will not be seen again so now let's go back to the question we have to solve we have to so we have to solve this uh, solid shape knowing fully whether this is a cone mounted upon a cylinder so the bottom and the top of the cylinder will not be seen it will be covered up so we have to find the volume let's also find the volume of the cone oh, sorry volume of the the shape or the solid shape so to get the volume of the O shape that should be the volume of the cone plus this volume of the cylinder so the volume of the whole shape we give us the volume of is uh, will be uh, we can we get we will get the volume of the whole of the the solid shape this solid shape by adding the volume of this cone plus the volume of the cylinder and uh, before we can find the volume of the cone and the volume of the cylinder so to find the volume of the cone we know that the volume of the of a cone is uh, one third of the volume of the cylinder that is one over three pi half square h so that means we need the height of this cone okay i'm t uh, okay let's try to okay this is what i'm having here that uh, this diagram here is generated from this uh, diagram as well this is a cone over uh mounted upon cylinder and uh, the top this uh circular the circular base of the cone and the top of the uh, of the cylinder will not be seen again and that will led to this so i just want to show you uh the show you the diagram when the base of the cone and the top of the uh, cylinder is shown you will have like this but when this circular base and the top of the cylinder is removed you have this uh, diagram you're having here so let's try to find the volume let's try to find the volume of the of the whole shape so i return this circle so that uh, i saw the circular base or the uh, top of the cylinder so as to help us uh, get some things because to find the volume of a of the O shape, we need the volume of the cone plus volume of the cylinder. And to find the volume of the cone, we need the height of the cone. We need the height of the cone. 
so we need the height of this cone to find the volume and uh, we are not giving the volume but we are giving the slant height to be 10 centimeter so we can use that to find the volume and we are giving the diameter of the of the circular base of the cylinder which is same thing as the top of the cylinder as well so we are giving the the diameter to be 14 centimeter so that means the radius okay this is the height the radius will be uh, 7 centimeter so if the diameter of the circular base is the 14 centimeter that means the radius of the the top will be the radius of the of the circular base also will be 7 centimeter which same thing as the the top of the cylinder so and uh, the reason why we return this circular b uh, on the top is because of this uh, height of the cone that we want to find so from there having the that the radius is 7 cm and the, uh, the slant height of the cone is 10 cm we can use uh, you can use Pythagoras theorem because this one will give us a right angle triangle to find the height so finding the height we have the the hypotenuse square to be equal to the height square plus the radius square which is the Pythagoras theorem so the square of the hypotenuse side equals to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides so we have 10 square equals to 8 square plus 7 square so that should give us a 100 minus a 49 which is 10 square minus 7 square that gives us 100 minus 49 that gives us a 51 to find our h we have the square root of a 51 that gives us 7.14 centimeter approximately to two decimal places so that is the height of the cone now to not get the volume of the solid that is the volume of the whole shape that will give us the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder <coughs> and the volume of the cone is the one third of the volume of the cylinder and that should be 1 over 3 pi r square h plus the volume of the cylinder that will be pi r square h where h is the height of the cylinder and this small h is the height of the cone so from there we can factorize something is common to them pi r square is common to both formulas so we can factorize that so pi r square is into one of one over three h plus h so from there now you can substitute the values given to us the pi is given to be 22 over 7 <coughs> excuse me multiplied by radius is 7 that'll be 7 square into one over three times the height of the cone is uh, we've got a 7.14 plus the height of the cylinder which is 20 so 7 can take care of 7 here we have a uh, 22 times 7 so that should give us a 154 then uh, if you simplify the bracket here you have uh, 7.14 div um, divided by 3 then whatever you get plus 20 that gives us 22.38 and if you multiply this that gives us a 3446.52 centimeter cube as the volume of the of the solid which we got by adding the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder so majority of the students will still be able to do this but the area where we will find they will find uh, difficult is to uh, to find the total surface area of the solid total surface area of this solid shape now normally if you want to find the total surface area of a solid shape is to find all the the area of the surface so the area of the surface but in this kind of a composite shape which which is made up of this cone and the cylinder majority of the student tend to add this circular top of the of the cylinder and this uh, which seems as uh, the the circular base of the cone they had it to the total surface area which is wrong please i want you to take note of this circular base this circular top of the cylinder which is also the circular base of the cone that's really where i want to emphasize on and that is why it's not part of the diagram when the diagram was given this top was not there so if you want to find the total surface area of the of this solid shape so that means you are not to add this top this circular top i'm highlighting on right now you're not it's not part of it so if you want to find total surface area total surface area of this uh, shape is the curved surface area of the cone plus the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the area of the circular base of the cylinder that will give us the total surface area of this solid shape I, I will come again if you want to find the total surface area of this uh, solid shape this circular base of the so the circular base of the cone which is also the circular top of the cylinder is not part of the it was not part of the solid because 
this cone the 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 circular base of the cone will cover up this top of the cylinder so it will not be seen at all so that means not part of the total surface area so if i want to find the total surface area of this uh, this shape all i need to do is to find the curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the cylinder plus the area of the circular base so like i said total surface area is the curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the cylinder plus area of the circular base of the cylinder that will give us total surface area of this of this solid shape so if you understand that so what's formula what's the formula for finding cost surface area of the cone that should be pi r l so pi r l is the formula for finding cost surface area of the cylinder then cost surface area of a sorry pi r l is the formula for finding cost surface area of the cone rather not cylinder pi r l is the formula for finding cost surface area of the cone then for cost surface area of the cylinder that should be 2 pi r h the curvedness of the cylinder is 2 pi r h the curvedness of the cone is pi r l then the area of the circular base which is a, a circle that will be pi r square so this is what will give us the total surface area of this solid shape something is common pi r, pi r is common you can factorize pi r so we have pi r into l plus 2 h plus r now we should not forget that this h is not the height of the cone but rather it is the height of the cylinder because we are talking about the cost of the area of the cylinder here so this h here is for, the, is for the is for the cylinder not for the cone so from there if you substitute the values given to us we have 20 over 7 times 7 which is a uh, radius is 7 pi is 20 over 7 into the slant height of the cone which is l is 10 plus 2 times uh, the height of the cylinder which is 20 2 times 20 plus the radius which is 7 7 will take your 7 here you have 22 outside into uh, 10 plus uh, 10 then 2 times 4 is 40 2 times 20 is 40 plus 7 that should give us a uh, 57 year times 22 and that should give us a uh, 1254 centimeter squared as the total surface area of this solid shape which I believe you understand how we got this so if you understand that please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as you do so May the good Lord bless you. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.